everyone, welcome back to Style My Sweets. I'm Rebecca and today I'm setting up my dining room Christmas tree, which is going to include all shades of red, gold, and burgundy. We've got berries, balls, flowers, and plenty of glitter, sparkle, and twinkling lights. I'll show you what I'm using and where I got it from, so let's get this Christmas party started. This is a seven foot pre-lit tree which I've already gone through and fluffed out all the branches. It had a few lights out, but rather than get a new tree for this room, I'm going to add a couple of cheap strands of lights. I think Christmas Tree Shop, Michaels, and Target have had 100 light packs for under $3 each. I added some of those along with two little battery-operated twinkle light strands I got off Amazon. These are really cool because they actually have a timer and remote to operate them, so you wouldn't have to go digging around in the tree to find the switch. It also had eight settings, so you'd be able to set the twinkle lights to faster, slower, you know, however you want the speed to look on the lights. Now I'm going to start with this large roll of like a cranberry red colored velvet ribbon. It's a 30 foot roll from Hobby Lobby and all the Christmas stuff is half off. I was able to do this tree with just one of these ribbon rolls. The gold ribbon, I love this lacy one. Oh my gosh, I had one from a long while back and I checked everywhere in the store and couldn't find it. Well, Hobby Lobby actually has a regular ribbon section, a Christmas ribbon section right now, and then a wedding and floral ribbon section. And this one was over there by like the where the wedding stuff was. So I finally found it and I needed three of these rolls to do this tree. I did have a little bit left over. So you can use a little floral wire from Dollar Tree or just one of the branches in your tree to kind of twist and anchor your ribbon in there at the top and then work your way down in sections alternating kind of to the left to the right to the left to the right tucking it in and kind of twisting it there into the tree as you go to secure it I use three of these beautiful branches with the greenery pine cones and berries from Hobby Lobby these were a little more pricey they were definitely one of the more expensive branches that Hobby Lobby had but they're half off so $11 each and I was able to pull them apart into two sections and that worked really well in my tree also I used a couple branches of these berries and this is a really great deal 50% off this one is only four dollars and fifty cents and I was able to get at least five sections of berries out of each one of these so that's less than a dollar a piece. I love the way the little gold berry sprigs look against the red berry pine. These little branches are gorgeous and were a pretty good price as well. I love the champagne color of them because it adds a bright metallic touch of glam to the tree. These darker ones, again, half off is only $1.50 each, and the depth of the color on these is so gorgeous, and I love how you can fan out the ends to add maximum effect and impact and really make a statement with this little piece. These two ornaments from Hobby Lobby, half off would be $7.50 total for the both of them, which is a pretty decent price, I think. These really have a lot of texture and interest to them, so I added two of them to the tree. This was a four pack, and by the way, these are all shatterproof. I have kids, so there won't be any glass on this tree. But yeah, these are almost like a little bit squishy and foamy, and this color is a little more of a rose gold color, I guess. I really love it. Oh, and check out these huge ornaments. Only $4.99 each in Christmas tree shop. So this was a really fun find. They are really huge. I wasn't sure if I would even be able to use them, but I think they look pretty good just to add even the variety in the size to the tree. We've got a lot of like small things and the berries and sprigs and I think the really large ornaments adding just a couple of them. I put two in the tree. I think it looks really great. Since I had a hard time finding burgundy color ornaments, not red, of course there's plenty of red, but really specifically like a dark burgundy, you know, not quite purple purple, not red, especially the shatterproof kid safe kind. I'm using some burgundy flowers from last year's floral arrangement and taking them apart to stick into my tray. They were originally from Hobby Lobby and they actually have this darker burgundy color one. I've got some gold floral picks here. I'm going to stick in the tree as well because the more the merrier when it comes to texture, color, and dimension in your Christmas tree. That's what I always say. I found these little frosted gold, I think they're like grapevines or something. In Hobby Lobby, again, half off, so a dollar a piece as well. I thought this was a really great deal. And who remembers these Dollar Tree Fall flowers? Well, all my leftover burgundy colored ones are making a new appearance in the Christmas tree this year.
As a topper for the tree, I used a pine branch, a section from the floral arrangement, along with a little branch of gold berries, and this is looking so good, you guys. Adding the twinkling lights inside the tree really keeps your eyes moving throughout the tree and just makes it feel perfectly magical. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the color combination with the reds, golds, burgundy, and a little bit of champagne and sparkles? What do you think of adding the twinkle fairy lights? Do you ever use berries or flowers in your Christmas tree decor? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you are having a beautiful day and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.